And this is still Prime Morning. It's time for Good Living segment. Every Tuesday, it's one of the main segments that we bring your way. It's time for us to talk health. So we bring close to you everything that you need to know about your health. Today will be no exception at all. Um, last year, we delved into the eye. Today, we are talking about the heart. My name is Asia Dua Akumia. Start getting interactive with us on all our social media platforms. Now, when I say the heart, uh, what specifically I'm trying to say is blood pressure. Blood pressure is our conversation this morning. Do you have a relative or you yourself, you're experiencing high blood pressure? Do you have any questions? Do you have something that it, it, it boggles your mind a little bit? You can't really fathom exactly what is going on. An expert is in the building this morning to get into all the questions that you have in relation to blood pressure. So go on Facebook, get into the comment section and send in your questions. Or you can take our WhatsApp number. It is 055-157-5757. 055 157 Five, seven, five, seven. Now, before we start, I'm reminding you again that by the end of the segment, we are going to give away 1,000 Ghana CDs. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is dial star 281 hash. It's all about quick cash. Star 281 hash. Play, play, play. The more you play, the more your chances of being a lucky winner for that cool 1,000 Ghana CDs. Star 281 hash. Choose option number seven, which is Joy Prime. A ticket is five Ghana CDs, so you can play as much as you can afford. Since there's five Ghana CDs, you can do two, you can do four, you can do six, as much as you can. Just play, and you could be a lucky winner for a cool thousand Ghana CDs this early morning. Now, I have mentioned what our topic for discussion this morning is. Blood pressure, understanding blood pressure. And so seated with me this morning is Samuel Intiamwa. He's a nurse uh, with International Maritime Hospital. Good morning, Samuel. Good morning. How are you? Everything's good. Mm. Grace. Mm. You're fine. How's your heart? How's your uh, blood pressure? It's kicking. It's kicking? Yeah. Your blood pressure is normal? <laughs> it's normal. Yeah. How often do you check? I mean, you have the portable mm. one, the home one, so... Yes. Um, often, often. Than, often? Uh, probably than I could count, you know. Really? Yeah, uh, often. My blood pressure is always below 110, always below 120. So okay. I get somewhere 105, 80, 105, 75, and it's cool. It's cool? Yeah, it's cool. So you check it every day? Not every day, but I mean, very frequent. Maybe two, three days, every other day. Mm. Yeah. I have, I have all the gadgets to all check. All the, yeah, every, everything <laughs> so why, you why need. Won't you I, have why won't I do that? Yeah. I do that. Um, yes, yeah. you do it with ease. You know. All right, so... Uh, some more. I chanced somewhere that um, I think there was an estimate uh, that was put on, uh, on the internet yeah. in 2022, where it says that it's estimated that you know the population of Ghana out of that about 30 percent okay. of people aged between 30 to 70 years experience high blood pressure or hypertension. I want you to talk about that. 30 to 70 years, I'm more than 30 years. Okay. So that age bracket. Usually, what we are so used to is that, oh, about 50 years or above 60 years, that's when you would you start to you start experience to. those things. Yes, yeah. but then now we've come down to 30 years, to yeah. 70 years. What really is it? I think uh, basically the lifestyle. Okay. Yes, basically the lifestyle. So I think uh, 30 and above is no, it's no exception. You know, 30 mm. and above, you are not exempted from the likelihood. It's just a likelihood bracket. So people who are within that bracket are expected to take care of their health very well. It mostly depends on the lifestyle. The lifestyle. You know, the lifestyle changes. You know, in recent times, there's more of sedentary lifestyle, mm. the kind of foods that we eat, that we the eat. kind of uh, things that we engage in. Yeah. It all leads to those things. You realize um, you pass down every weekend a number of boys and girls who are engaging in certain drugs, I mean, a lot of things. The yeah. food that we even eat, yeah. uh, sometimes our choices, you know, it's bringing the age brackets very low. As you said, gone are the days where when you hear of these things, you, yeah. you talk about, oh, Somebody's 50 about years, 50, 60 yeah. years, yeah. and those kind of things, yeah. So aging is a factor. Okay. Aging is a factor, is a okay. risk factor. You, as you age, you creep into the brackets. Mm. But of late, uh, the lifestyle is the leading factor. So it's something that's above 30 
you're already there, so you should be. <laughs> yeah. Above 30, Above you're 30, already there. You should be very careful. You should okay. be careful of the things you're taking. Yeah. Your lifestyle, how you behave, everything, everything. Yeah. Everything that you take in has an effect, so you have to mm. actually be cautious. Mm. Mm. So I would really directly relate it to lifestyle first. Mm -hmm. lifestyle that's, the, that's the most important mm. one when it comes to blood pressure. Mm. That's the most, yeah. Is it everything you take in? Yes. I want, I want you to elaborate. So, that frequently, um, you would see what are some of the foods that we normally eat of late? Um, processed foods. I mean, okay. sometimes the foods that are salted, I mean, highly oh, salted okay. foods, that doesn't help. Smoking and alcoholism. Mm. Yes. When I mention that, you understand why I say the age bracket. I mean, if you are getting to 30 and above, you realize that you find this lifestyle a lot of times yeah. among this age bracket. Age bracket, yes. that's true. You find it, uh, our colleagues, let me say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's one of the leading factors. I mean, when the person is addicted to some of these drugs, smoking, alcoholism, and then the choices of foods, as I said, mm -hmm. when the foods contain a lot of products, I would not mention, want to mention names, a lot of products contains high levels of sodium, which put a lot of stress on all the organs, on the kidneys, on the heart, and all that. Mm. So it increases your risk of, you know, the blood pressure itself, um, you will not find a direct cause. Ah. Not like Because I, I was actually going, yeah, to, going to ask, ask about yeah. what the organs that, you know, contribute. Brings in all these yes. things. Not like um, a condition like malaria, we know that malaria is caused by this. You understand? Typhoid, we know typhoid is caused by this. But when you talk of blood pressure, you can't specifically say that this is the cause. Mm. But you can say that these are the leading factors. Oh. These are the triggering factors okay. that comes together to, okay. I mean, bring about the um, hypertension. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Now, let's, let's come down to sodium. I, I, <clears throat> you, you didn't want to mention, so you can't mention brands. Yeah, but for the brands, brands. <laughs> you can't mention. <laughs> yeah. But the foods itself, what, what foods really contain a lot of sodium. Um, any food that is being salted for, I mean, that long, you know, some food that, that are canned. So, okay, um, so let me give an example. Mm -hmm. Can I give an example? Sausages. Some of the products, right, some of the products, when you buy them, you look at the pack. I think there are some description on the nutritional mm -hmm. values there, mm -hmm. and then you begin to check them. Some of them, you can just Google how much sodium you need a day, and Google how much sodium is on that pack you realize that some of them are way, way, way higher. High. Yeah, very high. Uh, per seven. So how much sodium do, does your body require, um, need every day? Yes, I think um, every day, when we estimate, you need about just um, the tablespoon. The tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just two of them, so. <laughs> the entire day? Yeah, the, the entire day. Just a small one. Just a small one, two of them. Even with the tablespoon, there was a time, I think just a few days ago, I saw that the measurement that we, the way we measure yeah. tablespoon, that big spoon that we think tablespoon, they're, they're so different. you take the, you it's not like that. You then, take the whole mm, thing, that's, that's like wrong. That. Yeah, that's very wrong. Yes. And some people, I mean, on, right on the table, they want to put the salt. In, in the, the already cooked already meal. Already cooked meal and start eating. Oh. And those kind of things. Yeah, there are things that we should be mindful of. We should be careful about what we take in, yeah. how we do take them in, yeah? Yeah. It puts stress. I mean, the kidneys and the heart, everything, they try to work hand in hand. You know, the kidneys are always working to take out the waste. Mm. And you're also bagging a lot of waste, also bagging things that would immediately become waste that is already in the system. And we are busily bagging them. Uh, busily weakening the uh, system. Summer, before you continue, sodium. Uh, mm. uh, maybe there's a viewer out there who doesn't really know what sodium is. So, oh, can you give us a relatable word or name? Ah, that's what I say, salt. Salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody so is true. Salt. Somebody might not get salt, yeah. Salt. Mm. So, intake, too much intake of yeah. salt. So, when you're, when you're in that bracket, when you get into that bracket, like 30... Going, I think you should start reducing yeah. your intake of salt. Yeah, start reducing it. You start okay. reducing, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. So the foods, mm -hmm. uh, I had wanted you to mention yeah. exactly what foods. Okay. And then I was going to mention sausages. So come that. Yeah. Um, these um, beef. Yeah, beef can. Yeah, the canned <clears throat> beef and then all that. We um, cookies. Okay. Or. Okay. Yeah. Or. Uh-huh. What about uh, salted fish? 
think Kobe, Kobe's. more money. <laughs> Those things, I mean, you, you can't eat them. You, you can actually have them, but in moderation. In moderation. You don't take them, I mean, as frequent as you want to. Like, every day you are taking something like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Every day. It might not be necessarily the, the, ma the main cause to your blood pressure, but it can trigger it. Because sometimes the blood pressure, we have people who are genetically prone or at risk. Maybe it's in the family line. You understand? It's in the family line, maybe your great great grandparents, your grandparents, your mother, aunties, siblings, in the, in the family line. When you get to that time, you should be cutting off those things. Because one, already you are not, uh, you are not in the safe bracket. You already have the, your, your genes, everything is on the borderline. So when you get to that level, you have to start taking care. You'll be like, oh, Charlie, I am naked, so I have to keep my clothes very tight. Understand. I live in a white house. I have to be very careful of dirt. Of dirt, yeah. I live in a glass house. Yeah. So I have to be very careful of yeah. stones. Yeah. I don't play with stones when you yeah. live in a glass house. Yeah. So that is how it is. You have to mm. be very mindful of mm. because one, if you are genetically prone, if there is a family history, you have to be careful about eating those foods. If you have any other condition, say um, diabetes, okay. there are some conditions that lead to that. If you have problems with a kidney, Okay. Yeah, it can lead to that. Mm. If you have problems with your thyroid, it can lead to those. It can lead to hypertension. So, when you find yourself in any of these brackets, you just make sure that you tone down some of these things. Mm. So, aside toning toning down your intake of salt, yeah. what other thing can you do? Other things you can do. A lot of things you can do. You have to make sure you exercise. Okay. I mentioned sedentary lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, of late. From the bus to work, from the work to the bus. <laughs> if the person is off, oh, I'm inside, I don't go anywhere. Yeah. When I'm off, I don't go anywhere. So we are stuck to electronics, we are stuck to a television set for a very long time in the room. Sometimes you can be in the room from morning to evening, and everybody wants that kind of private life, yeah. everybody wants that kind of yeah. pressing phones yeah. and being inside for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Somebody might want to sleep all day when he's off. He or she is off, I mean, wants to, but at least um, exercise 30 to 45 minutes a day or five times in a week. It helps. It builds the heart very exercise well. Exercise five times in a week? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> when you say, <laughs> someone is laughing at me. I don't, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> my I, facial I, expression, huh? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, five probably. times in a week, I mean, okay. How that, do you? That's, that, that, that's okay, but what workouts? What, what exercise would you recommend? Yeah, so um, I think the gym instructors will tell you cardio exercises. Yes, um, like even a walk. Okay. Um, I mean, going on skipping, mm. skipping rope, mm. um, swimming. A lot swimming? Of, yeah, swimming. It's okay. very good exercise for the heart. Okay. A lot of exercise you can engage in. Um, mm. Brisk walking. Okay. Early in the morning, even around your house, you mm. can engage in some kind of exercise that helps you out. I mean, mm. there are lots of exercise out there that you can engage in. Skipping is one of the best, yeah, one of the best exercises that can help you. Okay. I mean, walking around, okay. taking some stretches. Right. Yeah, taking right. some, yeah, stretches and walking, skipping, okay. mm. yeah, to help you. So once in a while, probably in the weekend, you are off, you can engage in swimming. I like swimming a lot, so mm. <laughs> you can engage in that and then, um, yes. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very important. Um, Sam, I want I, I want us to go back to the food. So, yeah. what, what what foods would you recommend we eat often? Uh, often, I recommend you taking um, a green leafy. You go you go the green way. Okay. You go the green. So lettuce, greens, cabbage, cabbage, um, fine. Uh, Contumere. Yes. Okay. You find those green foods, the vegetables. You do a lot of fruits. A lot right? of fruits. A lot of fruits. A lot of fiber. A lot of. I mean, those fruits and natural foods, I think it helps. It helps better. Generally, generally, when you are, I mean, you, when you take in balanced diet, mm. when you go the leafy way, the green way, mm. I think it, it helps boost the whole system. Mm. You know, the heart, the heart is the heart of the body. So that's, that's what somebody told me. It's, it's in the heart of the body. I mean, it's the center of everything. So if you are generally fine, if you are generally taking in your balanced diet, if you are generally taking in your, uh, you know, some people forget about, you buy the expensive food afterwards, they forget to buy probably fruit or something. Mm, mm. It's not easy for them to go the fruit way. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. not easy for them. You, mm. you buy, how much is watermelon? I think. Uh, 
I think about twenty-five CDs. I mean, you can get some. Yeah, Nobody can some buy thirty, food. some forty, yeah, well, depending on their sizes and where you're buying. Where you're from. buying from? Yes, yes. <laughs> that's very important. Somebody yeah. can buy the food. Seventy CDs, eighty CDs. I mean, those things are. How much is orange? Mm. Yeah. So, so you would recommend that every time that you uh, you have your meal. I mean, the whole day. The whole day. The whole day. So probably you're going to eat twice a day or three times a day. Okay. I mean, fix the food somewhere. If mm. you can't take it every time, mm. you fix the food somewhere. Maybe you can fix it maybe in the night or probably, I say in the night, um, at supper. At supper. Or dinner. Fix it with something light and then mm. you go on. Maybe after breakfast, you can get something um, fruity, add it to it, and then you are good. You are good to go. Would you, uh, would you say there's a perfect timing to eat fruits? Because I know that there are a lot of, I've heard this a lot, a lot of times. A lot of times. <laughs> Some would say, oh, you can't take oranges uh, in the morning mm -hmm. when you've not eaten anything. You can't take okay. oranges. Um, you have to wait, uh, eat fruits first before you eat take. your actual meal, or after you are done with the actual meal, you eat fruits. It's very confusing. Mm, yes, um, school of thought, you know. The oranges contain high content of citric. Mm. That is very um, high content of acids. Okay. You know, it contains citric, and then it's advisable that probably you'd want to eat the meal. Mm -hmm. When the meal is in there, right. then you take your... Okay. Um, something like orange, pineapple. They contain, um, I mean, not the fruit, but you realize that orange and pineapples, when you take them on a... An empty stomach. On an empty stomach, mm -hmm. you're going to find out that you have irritations okay. that's uncomfortable, yes. Right. That's quite uncomfortable. So it's advisable to at least go with the food first. Then, then your come, fruit yeah, would fruit, be yeah. next. High cholesterol. Yeah. The contribution of high cholesterol to high blood pressure. Yes. High cholesterol is also another factor. Okay. You'd want to see that mostly causes our primary hypertension. Uh, you have normally hypertension itself, you wouldn't see anything. You wouldn't have any, um, I can't see you and say that, Unlike maybe you have fever, I can touch you and say that, mm, I see yeah. you, are, you are not. Yeah. But hypertension, yeah. we didn't see anything. The moment you start seeing signs, it means that it's getting worse. It means that it's getting bad. Mm. Um, sometimes high cholesterol, the person might be okay, just, yeah, just looks fine, okay. looks okay. Yeah. Until, you know, the problem is when they start to build up in the blood vessel. Right. Yeah, you know, the blood vessel, I mean, blood flows through. Mm -hmm. When the cholesterol starts to build up in the blood vessel, you realize, it's difficult for the blood to move through. Mm -hmm. Just like a whole water hose and then Because it's like there are clots. Clots, yes. Blocking the blocking, flow. Blocking, so we call them plaque. Okay. Blocking okay. the flow. Okay, yeah. That is what brings about the pressure. Right. Because when the, I mean, when the lumen closes, mm -hmm. that is where you get more pressure. You need mm -hmm. more pressure to push mm -hmm. the flow. Yeah. And that is how come the heart gets... It's like the heart is forcing itself to pump. That is the whole thing. Oh. That is the whole idea about how Hypertension, you know, high blood pressure. You know, the pressure is just going high. It's high. going high. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the whole thing. So yeah, uh, it's 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 a leading factor. Okay. I mean, those were the things that we could mention. The cholesterol level. Right. Uh, it's it's kind of a leading factor. Yeah. Probably. So I'll, um, we are going to go into uh, our comments. We have a few comments on Facebook and on WhatsApp okay. as well. Um, uh, Samuel, I want you to think of um, this question that I'm about asking you, which is in relation to high cholesterol. Now, we okay. have quite a number of products that when you buy these products, it is written on the low cholesterol. Okay. And then you are attracted to, to it to, to buy because yeah. it will aid in you not having, having high cholesterol. So we'll get to the answer. Yeah. So please, can, can we have our questions or our comments? Okay. So, um, my viewers, my lovely viewers, uh, we are still waiting for your comments to come in, your questions to come in. Uh, what question do you have about high blood pressure, low blood pressure? Someone in Tianwai is here to answer it all for you. Um, are you experiencing either of both? Do you have a relative who is experiencing high blood pressure? Um, send in your questions. You can go to our Facebook page. It is Joy Prime TV. Or you can take our WhatsApp number. It is 
Okay, all right. So let me take uh, just about two for now. Good morning. I'm more curious about the food factor contributing to blood pressure <laughs> since you are, you are what you eat. I want to find out from the doctor whether it's advisable to take kebabs. <laughs> and if yes, how often go and take Rexford for Fristia? Hey, Rexford, when do you do? Okay. All right. Hi, good morning, cherished viewers. My question is, what of stroke? Okay, all right. All right, so keep the messages coming in. Um, Samuel is here to answer it all for you. So Samuel, yeah. the food. So I Very, think we'll have to go back to yeah, the foods. The yeah, the foods. Somebody say kebab. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, well, kebab. It's meat, like those kind of meat that we take and all that. So I think those things, you can take them in moderation. There is no, I mean, you wouldn't say that because you're eating too much kebab, you want to say that you're going to have hypertension at the end of the day. You just take them in moderation. It's not something, it's meat, protein. Uh, you know, it's not something you have to be taking them um, as frequent like your meal. And I do, like every night you have to go on kebab and stuff like that. It's not really good for you. Uh, you know, when I, when I think about it, uh, um, kebab, you're not, you're not deep frying. You so just, it's not soaking in a lot of oil. Yeah. You know, like when I you think, think about the, it. The, the, the pepper they use around it. Oh. I don't know whether it's salted. I think so. Okay, so it's depending on how they how, do how they how, it. How yeah. they prepare yeah. it. Because I think what they use is um, powdered pepper. Powdered pepper. Um, granites. Granites. Yes, yeah. granites and then some spices, okay. salt. So it's dependent on the amount the of salt who, yeah. also. Because sometimes when you have a bite, you can feel yeah. Yeah, right. the sharp, sharp taste. Yeah. yeah, you realize that it's salty mm. and all that. Mm. So it depends. Um, Rexford, you can take them in moderation. Um, you wouldn't have a problem when you're taking them in moderation. Mm. You know, the body is such that it can deal with a lot of things when eating in moderation. Huh, it can deal with things when eating in moderation, but you can't load it. You can't load the body with a lot of stuff like that. Mm. I mean, you are loading a lot of uh, meat like that. Mm. wouldn't help you. Mm. Generally, it wouldn't help Generally. you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I believe we've, we've, we've spoken a lot on yeah, high blood pressure. Yeah. Now, low blood pressure. Okay. Is it anything alarming? Yes. Low, low blood pressure is also alarming. You know, we have... Um, when somebody's in shock, okay. um, when you lose a lot of fluid, when you lose a lot of fluid, just like um, maybe you're bleeding too much, you're vomiting too much, you are passing diarrhea, you're passing stool. I mean, you're having diarrhea too much mm. for a very long time. You become very weak. Mm. You become very, very down, very weak. Um, in that situation or in that sense, you would have low blood pressure. Oh. Yeah, and it's something you need to be very careful about. It's something that, I mean, it's, you are into shock. The heart is, I mean, when you have high blood pressure for a point and then you get heart failure, let me say you are, you've, gone into, you've gotten into the heart failure stage, it can lead to your blood pressures coming down. And those are critical moments. You need to be very, very, I mean, keen. You have to be taken to the critical areas to be seen. Wow. So low blood pressure is kind of, I mean, high blood pressure, you need critical, I mean, you need to be taken care of critically. The same thing applies to low blood pressure. You'd have to also be mindful of that. Everybody has a range. Yourself, your range will be different from mine. Okay. So when you are checking, when you check my blood pressure, then I have below, I have around 110, maybe 105, 102. It's fine with me. It might not be fine with you. Everybody has a range. So probably the only way to know is to keep checking. When you check over time, you realize that this has been my normal. This range is my normal. Okay, so there's not there's there's no normal range for everybody. No, there's no particular one. Particular one for, one for everybody. everybody. No, 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 no. Oh. No, there's no particular one for everybody. It could be different. So my my range, what I what, what I do for myself is right. that I should be hitting not above 110. I'm always at 105, 107, that range. Maybe your range will be 115. Or the same why, as 110. Why, why, is, why is it that way? We have we have different uh, mechanisms. It could be the age, it could be um, okay. medical condition. Okay. okay. Yeah, it could be genetics, it could be a lot of things. Okay. So we are different. We have mm. different things going on within us. Mm. Maybe somebody is prone, somebody is at high risk, mm. somebody is having a family history, mm. somebody is having a medical condition, mm. maybe he has a problem with the 
has a problem with the kidneys, mm -hmm. the person has a problem with any of the organs that can lead to that, maybe diabetes or anything. Mm. Somebody is above, let's say, 50, 65, okay. thereabouts. Okay. Somebody has had previous experience okay. of a heart condition. Okay. So if you have any previous experience of heart condition, mm. you might have a different value. Mm -hmm. Your age can determine the different value sometimes. So it depends on those factors. Mm. Those are factors that, okay. I mean, leads to so, that. So if today I check and, for instance, it's 115, 115, yeah. Yes, 115. And then two days after, I check again, and it's 120, Okay. for instance. Should I be alarmed? No, you don't have to be, because it's two days interval. Okay. And then again, you have, you have to be consistent with it. Maybe over, over probably, I mean, three weeks, six weeks, you have the same thing. Between the same area. The same... Yeah, 115 okay, and 120, 120 is not that much wide range. Okay. You have the same thing for a very long time. You realize, oh, this is fine. This is mine. Oh. You get it. Okay. Yeah. You wouldn't have a particular number. Number? You wouldn't have seen that you check in was 120, 80. Mm -hmm. You don't expect, even the next two minutes, you don't expect 120, 80 again. Mm. It can be one, 117, 85, 117, 75. The next two minutes, it can change. Okay. Probably, we'll get to the demonstration yeah. because I've been trying to under, um, understand, understand how the, the bigger figure on top and the lower the, figure the lower, yeah. underneath. We'll get all that. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll get into yeah. all that. Le the low blood pressure, I want us to reiterate it okay. once more. So when your body is losing fluids, yeah, it can cause, it low, can cause low blood, blood pressure. pressure. Yeah. And it's as, uh, it's, it's as deadly yeah, as... Um, you would say um, deadly. It's a severe, let's it's say. It's a severe. It's critical. Okay, critical. You need to it is as critical as high blood pressure. Yeah. Okay. So losing uh, body fluids. So yeah. let's say vomiting. You're, you're throwing up a lot. Yeah, you're bleeding. You're bleeding too much. Too yeah. much. Okay. okay. And in some cases where the heart is failing, mm -hmm. yeah, there's nothing coming out. You know, the contraction is very less. You are, the heart is failing. So people are the critical stages mm. that the heart is gradually failing, you realize that the BPs are dropping and dropping gradually. Okay. They are just, the person is just being in that critical stage for a very long time. You have to be supported on other medications that keeps the okay. heart pumping. Pumping. Yeah. All right, Samuel, all right. So um, what are we going to try out first? I want us um, to get into the demonstrations. Well, mm. <clears throat> Anyone, choose choose one. Let's let's do with it. Which one would you would you recommend for me? Okay, so the white one. The white one. What is, is what is it called? Doesn't. Okay, it? so this is a sphig, sphigmo manometer. Sorry. Sphigmo manometer. Sphig. It will take time. Don't worry. <laughs> so just say sphig. 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 It's a sphig. Yes, yeah, a sphig. It's yeah. a sphig. So actually, this is the Android type. This is a digital one. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me come closer. Mm, so yeah. That it's easier. Normally, when you're home, mm -hmm. when you're home, you would want to use this at home, personally. You can yeah, use my this. parents actually have this. Okay, then that's home. fine, that's fine. And my mother is this. always trying to check. force me to check, and I'm always running away. Oh, you know, you have to check. You don't I have, have to, to check. Yeah, you have to. At least when you have it every morning, you can just check before. Every morning. Come, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this is the analog type. Okay. Mm, this one. So they are have, all speak. Yeah, they are all speak. Mm. Yeah. When you have somebody helping you at home, you can use this one to check. Okay, okay. It's portable, it's more portable. It's in a bag like this, mm. with your stethoscope. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay, so, so with this then, what, where do you see the reading? Over here. Ah, reading here. okay, okay. So that's okay. why we call this analog. Analog, okay. This is analog reading. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and then, wait, so, this is the analog. Analog, yeah. This is a digital. The analog sphig. <laughs> <laughs> Someone doesn't want me biting my tongue, so he's not going to... Uh, let me stress on pronouncing the full word. Yeah. So this is the analog fig, sphig. And this, and this is the digital. Digital, yeah. Sphig as well. And then this one, yeah, this one we are used to. We're seeing mm, it in hospitals. Hospitals every day. Uh, every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, so. is a, this is a mercury. It's also analog, but this is the mercury type. Mercury. Yeah. So when you inflate, you realize that the mercury... I mean, yeah, if you can have an show it, trust. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, so when you fill it, the mercury has an up trust. So, unless, mm -hmm. unless we try, maybe we'll try which one first, this one first. Yeah, let's, let's try the okay, <laughs> the digital uh, one. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah. Taking a deep breath. Yeah. <laughs> so just something slight uh, medication on this one before you check the mm-hmm. blood pressure. Mm-hmm. You let a person sit down for at least two to three minutes just to take um, a deep breath. <laughs> just take uh, some slight rest two to three minutes. Just be calm. And then you rest your back and your feet. So you have to put the... You have to rest your back and your feet. So... Yeah. So what, I have to take off my shoes? Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Just it's fine this, like yeah, this? Okay. Yeah. I think probably you would want to... Take them off? Yeah. Okay. And then put okay. your feet flat on the... Yeah, so... Yeah. All right. So, mm. Okay, you don't cross your leg. Hey. That's one thing. <laughs> Why? What does second, it do? Yeah, you don't cross your leg. We are, we are looking at the, I mean, blood pressure. You know, it deals with blood flow, and then you are crossing the legs. Which can impede blood flow. Yeah, so viewers didn't see this because I'm, uh, yeah, my legs, my leg, my feet are behind so, the table. I cross at the ankles. Yeah, you don't at, have at to. my ankles, and he says, yeah. I don't have to. Okay. So there are things that probably you shouldn't take um, 30 minutes before you check blood pressure. You shouldn't be exercising vigorously. Oh. Yeah, some people, right after exercise, they want to check their blood pressure, mm. which is wrong. Mm. You shouldn't be taking in alcohol. Or smoking. Mm. Yeah, you shouldn't be uh, coming out of a stressful event, stressful activity. Maybe you are really agitated, you are angry, you are stressed the whole day, and then uh, you want to sit there, you want to check your blood pressure. It's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah, yeah. so you have to you take should be your, relaxed. Relaxed. Okay. Very, very relaxed. And then your palm will face upwards. Do I? No, 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 no. This one. Okay, put it here. Uh huh. Yeah, face upwards. Like it this. faces upwards. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Can you please explain why it has to face upwards? Because I need the side. I need to put it on this side. Okay. Yeah. I need to put it on that uh, vessel here. Right. Yeah. I need this particular side. Okay. Actually, you shouldn't have maybe a cloth on it. Oh. Uh, so I don't know if you can pull it back. If you pull back and it's a problem, we can just. It, it, might, it might be a problem, me. Okay. So just yeah. stretch it. Just stretch it. Okay. Mm, that's fine. That's okay. Mm, so. Uh, okay. Let me pull the table here. Mm. Okay. All right, let's raise your hand. So, viewers, we are still waiting for your questions. We are still waiting for your opinions on high blood and low blood pressure. Okay. Samuel Ntiamwai is here. So we are using the digital sphag mm-hmm. to test my blood pressure. So when it's on, you don't talk again. Okay. Until it's so done. I have to keep quiet. <laughs> All right. Okay, should I show or no? It's confidential. <laughs> So you start reading and then you start, I mean, you get to see the values as you read here. Okay, I think we, we had an error, and that's... <laughs> that was an <laughs> error! <laughs> Ooh, it happens okay. sometimes. It happens sometimes. We have sometimes. error readings, yeah. Okay. If it happens again, that we, we, we use, the, we, we yeah. use the analog. Okay. Mm, so just calm down, and then we see. So at this re- um, we have we have it here. Stress is one thing that also causes, uh, that's also lead to another risk factor that leads to blood pressure. I mean, hypertension, too much stress. A lot of people are engaged in activities, stressful activities of late. Um, uh, work schedules, a lot of activities come into play to cause, I mean, stress. So you should be managing stress in your daily activities, you should be able to manage stress levels and everything. So, yeah, I think this one it's written.
Okay. I'll get this one to you. What did we get? One. One, three, seven. One, three, seven, and... hundred. Well, okay, what does that mean? Okay. How should I explain this one? Yeah. I don't mean you're not sick. Someone, you're not sick. Oh, you're not you me, you're not sick. No, I'm not sick. 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 I'm not I mean, could slightly. Maybe be under my stress. What do you can't? What do you mean under my stress? I mean, to be in camp. So why stress? I don't know. My stress, like my very oh, stress. Oh, you, you let me know your line of activities. Mm. Maybe then you know that okay, shall you are having stress. Okay, so we wake we wake up at dawn. Okay. You know, very early in the morning. Okay. Not enough sleep, you know, because we love our viewers so much. Mm -hmm. So we regardless them. before six a.m. Yeah. You have you have some off days as well. You need to. O off, no, barely, have. barely. You have some resting period. You need to rest. Ba ba barely, barely, okay. because even after you know doing work, mm -hmm. you have to do other personal, other stuff, personal stuff and all that. Yeah. So even your free time is occupied with personal with other stuff. stuff. Mm. So one thing about the blood pressure is you can't use one reading to determine. Oh. So in about 30 minutes time, we have to repeat. So we'll check we'll it check. again. We'll check. <laughs> yes. I'll be we'll, out there, so we'll, we'll check. check we'll keep checking yeah. and then, yeah. And right, I'll, I'll go and show it to my producer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but, but not so. for me. <laughs> 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 not for me. <laughs> right, so, so well, Itiawa, thank you. Yeah. Um, this was... See, ladies and gentlemen, you people, I have, I have exposed to you something uh, private, all right? And I am waiting for you to get interactive with us on our social media platforms. We are still talking on blood pressure. We have highlighted on high blood pressure. We have spoken on low blood pressure as well. Yeah. For those of you that were thinking that maybe low blood pressure is not as serious as high blood pressure, it is, okay? And someone in Tiamwa, who is a nurse at International Maritime Shall Hospital, Maritime. is here with us this morning. Now, let's talk about symptoms. When you have, let's start with high blood pressure. What are some of the signs? Is there, are there any signs that your body will show you that you have high blood pressure? Yes, as I said, um, blood pressure is not something, let me say hypertension, it's not something that you see mm -hmm. or probably you feel. As I said, you have... Let me say you have malaria and you're having fever. I can touch you and say that, well, I think you have fever. You have, your body temperature is rising. You're vomiting, I can see. But blood pressure, when your blood pressures are elevated, there is nothing to show. You didn't see anything. When you start seeing, it means that it's getting serious. Something like a headache. Uh -huh. I was going to ask that. Because yeah. maybe you're oftentimes dizzy, you're yeah. oftentimes feeling headaches. Feeling headaches. Yeah. Those kind of things are... Yeah. I mean, critical moments critical. you need to take, you need to take it very serious. Okay, okay. So people don't really, um, the reason why it's, um, it's something that affects a lot of us is that we don't take keen notice of it. We, mm. it's usually it creeps in. That's why we call it the silent killer. It creeps yeah. in. Yeah. When you are feeling the symptoms, when you're having those symptoms, it means that some complications are pulling their heads out. So it's just reminding you that where it is going, that um, you have to pay attention. You have to, to pay it. attention to it. Yeah. So you wouldn't have any symptoms. You wouldn't basically, basically, you wouldn't have any symptoms. But when it gets to maybe a critical moment, mm. you have those headaches. Mm. You have those dizziness. Mm. Sometimes you have um, chest pain or tightness. Mm. You have palpitation. You can feel that you are having yeah. those palpitations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we have something we call the tinnitus. You have this. Thing in your ears that um that uh, we yes you have you have that <laughs> yeah yeah because it sounds like we you know? <laughs> so you have you have you have certain things that I mean you would it will come once in a while and then you'll be fine okay it comes to give you a hint and then you'll be fine okay. people don't really okay. pay attention pay to attention, those things yeah. but they are real those yeah, things yeah. are real you have mm. to always pay attention mm. it gives you a very I mean it gives you the room. So you yourself, you enjoy that room it gives you. It's not something that comes quick and say that, oh, this is quick, let me treat it. Yeah, so it's basically lifestyle. It lifestyle. Comes, yeah, it comes to create certain level of, I mean, association with us. 
comes in the lifestyle bit by bit, bit by bit, and then before you realize, uh, your, med your medications, yeah. your treatment, you have yeah. to be going. Yeah. And that's one of the commonest things you can go to the hospital, any hospital at all. Okay. And then go and check. And Maybe check. you should come to Maritime. Maritime, yeah, yeah. Just and pass check by as Maritime well. And then. Okay. So is it the same for low blood pressure? Um, to check. It's also silent. Uh, well, because the low blood pressure, sometimes you would have, you have dizziness a lot of times, sometimes, you okay. know, you have okay. dizziness, sometimes you'll be in shock, probably you'll be very lethargic, you'll be down, you, mm. you wouldn't be able to, you'll be I mean, sluggish, you would very, very yeah. dizzy and all that. It happens in critical moments, so those things are different, quite different from, yeah, the okay. high blood pressure. All right, so we have a few messages, uh, let's take our messages <clears throat> and let's see. What our viewers are saying, <laughs> which is more what difficult you, to yeah. manage, hypertension or hypotension? And how do you manage hypertension? This is from Meshach from New Edubiasi. Thank you. Um, someone will answer that. Can family planning cause blood pressure? Cynthia from Bekwai. Oh. That's, that's, that's interesting. Yes, it's very so interesting. Let's, let's see the first one. He says, um, which one is the more difference, difficult? Which is more difficult, difficult to hypo manage? or hypertension? The, 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 when you talk about management, it all depends on how quick you assess the healthcare facility, okay. the healthcare I mean, service. Mm. So probably at a hypertension, I was able to notice everything fast, get to the facility. The early stage is more important. So maybe I went there at the early stage. At the early stage, yeah. Yeah, so the best thing is that uh, I wouldn't want to compare. I wouldn't want to compare which one is easy to treat oh, or manage. Oh, okay. But okay. I would want to say that if any of them gets to the facility early, early. you report to your doctor early. Something can be done about something it. Something can be done about it. Yeah. yeah. It can always be managed very well. Yeah. So the best thing is reporting early. Early. Yeah. Yeah. So the frequent check-in too is, is very important, important yeah. as well. Very we important. don't need to just go yeah. uh, without checking our blood pressure. Okay, next one. Hello, good morning. My mom, 62 years, is hypertensive and she has been on medication for a long time and we want to stop the medication because of the side effects she's experiencing. Is it possible to stop the medication and stick to natural remedies, food and vegetables for improvement? Umi from Accra Lakeside. So Umi, um, you don't stop the medication on your own. It was given to you by a healthcare professional. So if you want to stop a medication, you go, back, you go back and then discuss. Yeah. And you make, um, maybe some of the symptoms or side effects are expected. Some of mm. them are unexpected. Mm. So he'll be the best person to know which medication are you taking, what are the expected side effects, okay. what are the unexpected. Right. So you discuss with the person, the doctor tells you, okay, if this is a side effect, I'm going to change it from this to this. It's difficult to stop blood pressure medications at once. You don't have to. You don't have to stop at once. So sometimes what they do is they bring it down. Maybe They reduce the dosage. The strength, yeah. Okay. So if you are taking maybe... 20, they bring it to uh, 10. 10, okay. Or maybe if you're taking it twice daily, they bring yeah. it to once One. daily. Okay. And then they manage it on that. So you don't have to stop on your own mm. and then switch to another form of medication. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they, it normally happens. This is a critical example. People switch to different forms of medication. When it gets worse, they come back. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So people switch to different form of medication. Yeah. When it gets worse, they come back to the hospital. And I think um, it's something you have to look at. When your parents are taking those medications, you don't have to stop. You have to continue. If you see anything unpleasant, go back to the hospital. Okay. Um, how do we manage low blood pressure? What food to take? What to avoid? What do I need to do? This is Chrissy. Don Cochrane, Chrissy, you've missed out on a larger part yeah. of the conversation because we started this right from the beginning. We dealt with it, so just go on Facebook and yeah. and Thank you um, do more just fluids. go back. Yeah, and the food. Stick to appointment. Yeah, stick yeah. to appointment. <laughs> and do more fluids. I mean, yeah, taking more fluids. Yeah, with low blood pressure, okay. and stick to appointment. Yeah. All right. Um, good morning, please. This is Helena from Peking Government Hospital. Someone is a former colleague of mine oh. from Peking Government <laughs> Hospital. I was yeah. asking why the retro patients always have low blood pressure at the. Okay, so um, retro, you have you have them losing a lot of. Fluids. What's retro, by the way? Ah, uh, okay. She she just give out a code. A code. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's retroviral. Okay. Retroviral. I okay. mean, people who are HIV positive. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. These are quotes that she shouldn't have mentioned. She shouldn't have. <laughs> oh. yeah. 
that's 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 a colleague of mine so okay. that's that's fine so okay. um mostly they lose a lot of fluid through diarrhea you have diarrhea is one of the significant uh, mm. signs that you see in retro patient mm. so by losing a lot of diarrhea like that they mostly get into shock and then you have their blood pressures coming down. Coming so down, yeah. okay. Mm, they lose through vomiting and maybe passing diarrhea. Diarrhea is very, very significant in those stages. Yeah. Okay, all right. So uh, we'll have to read a lot of the messages together. together so that, because so there, there are a lot coming in. Mm, yeah. I am 43 years. Anytime I check my blood pressure, it's not always static. It mostly reads 13685, 12575, 14082. He explains to me what, he should explain to me what could be the problem. From Samoa, just now it reads 145.85 and 128.82 age. Okay. All right. Um, let's take some more messages. Hi, good morning to you all. I'm La Lutuf, watching live from Jarapa. Please, my question is Are there any alternative therapies or supplements that can help hypertension management? Okay. Good morning, please. Is high blood pressure inheritable? Sarah from Ajumako. Yes, he mentioned that earlier that you could uh, get that um, genetically. So whilst you are growing, you have to pay attention to that. Look at your history. Look at the background. Do you have, did you have a grandparent or a great-grandparent who maybe died from hypertension or something? You need to pay attention and take good care yeah, of yourself okay. from now. Moving on, we have, hello, my name is Emmanuel. I would like to get brief explanation on how anxiety triggers hypertension. Oh. Um, hello, good morning. Please hope you're doing well. Yeah, we are fine. I'm watching you live from Kofarudia. Please, my mother's BP was 230, 100, but she's not sick also. And the more she checks weekly, the more it goes high. Why? Oh. I'm called Ikea. Hello, Ikea. Okay. Hi, Esiodua. Good morning. What's wrong if your blood pressure goes up anytime you're in pain, but you are not hypertensive? I'm Stein from Old Ningo. Okie dokie. Um, okay, Samuel, can you please answer this one? And um, what, what's wrong if your blood pressure goes up anytime you're in pain? Yes, um, pain. Your, we wouldn't say you are hypertensive if your blood pressure goes up because of the pain. Okay. You're because, not hypertensive. Because it's normal. It can happen. It can happen. Yeah. Yeah. So even when your blood pressure goes up once, we wouldn't say that you are hypertensive or you have um, hypertension. Mm. That is not um, how it goes. So your, my blood pressure can go up today. Maybe it can hit the maximum. Maybe due to some stressful activity or something. Maybe pain, stress could be emotional, it could be physical, it could be anything. It could be alcohol, just I took something alcoholic right now. It can just elevate it or something. So it wouldn't be that the fact that you check today and then the pressure is high means that you are hypertensive, no. Mm. So the pain can elevate the blood pressure. It can elevate it so it doesn't mean that the person is um, hypertensive mm. or is having hypertension, mm. the condition itself, mm. no. Elia, you mentioned the range. You yeah. mentioned range when it comes to the numbers. The numbers, yeah. Um, and someone's question about her mother's range, that it keeps on increasing, although she is not hypertensive. Yeah. Isn't that alarming in any way? It's alarming when you see those values consistently. Uh -huh. um, one, uh, I advise also that the machines you use at home, mm -hmm. frequently take it to the I mean, healthcare facility. Mm. Once a while, take it there. Mm. And then let us compare. Let us see what's wrong with the machine. Probably you have problems with the machine. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have problems with how you are checking it. Right. Yeah, they all cause, I mean, differences in the reading. Yeah. This thing's supposed to be flat on the surface, like a table like this. Okay. You don't have to be, I mean, you have to be at maybe equal level of the hat or maybe closer oh. level to the hat. Oh. There are a lot of things that you need to consider when you're checking. And then the machine too, sometimes you have to take it to the hospital, as I said. There are a lot of things. It's a machine. We work on the machine. We know how it goes. We know how it works. So maybe if there's a fault to the machine, then you check it out. It's not likely that you're going to have BPs uh, low and high at the same time for a very long time. Mm. You have to definitely check the machine very well. But anytime you're hitting that number, 
She mentioned around 180. 180. Uh, that one, that one, that's something you need to take care of. You need to. Okay, so Ikea, please. To, yeah. yeah. Ikea, um, you would have to visit a hospital yeah. with your mother yeah. and get her checked with immediate effects, yeah. like someone has mentioned. 180, 180 then it means it has to be yeah. checked. Okay, um, I want us to take some more comments. Okay. We have some That's comments fine. from Facebook as well. Mm. So if you can have the comments. Yeah. Um. Okay, Aaron Babakoko Komisa says, awesome show. Thank you, Aaron. Good morning, lovely and amazing students of Peach Skills Hub Africa and Ed's Natural Cosmetics. Doing the listing now. Okay, listening now. Greetings to you, Madam Ednora Chika, the president of Peach Group. Thank you, Aaron, for this message. Okay, yeah. let's move on. Okay, all right. So, thank you so much for your messages. Mm -hmm. I have learned so, so much. Um, one of the key things is that, to me, that I am taking home is those of you that have uh, the digital um, machine, it's fake, it says fake. It's fake. It's the digital machine yeah. to check your blood pressure at home. So here's the thing. The number or the range that you think you know is the limit that you are looking at to judge whatever numbers appears there. Someone has made us understand this morning that it differs from body to body, from age to age. Conditions as well. Conditions to conditions. So if you, are, you know that, oh, maybe it is 100 over 90, 100 over 80, please stop that. You need to pay attention to your range. So you do it quite often and pay attention to yours. And then if Oshana say a, a range, you know, it is escalating, that is when you would say that, okay, there's something wrong. Yeah, or yeah. Am I, that's it, right? A uh, uh, benchmark, yeah. normally. A benchmark, uh, benchmark okay. um, you would want to do something between a 120, okay. that is the systolic, mm -hmm. that's the number upwards. Yes. That checks the number of times your heart is contracting. Right. Yeah, and then the number below is the diastolic. Mm -hmm. That is when the heart is resting mm -hmm. after contraction. Mm -hmm. So you can benchmark it at 120, 80, generally. Hey, any, 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 I'm stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. At this point, I'm stressed, it's, it's, so it's, I it's, think there's something needs to be done about oh, this. It's only a benchmark. But some more, thank you so much for educating us on blood pressure. Mm, and I yeah. hope the viewers have learned so much. Um, thank you for your messages this morning. Uh, thank you for being a part of Good Living segment. The show continues. We have entertainment for you. KMJ is coming your way with an awesome conversation. My my name is Asia Dua Akumia, the Golden Girl. My guest for Good Living segment has been Samuel Intiamwa, yeah. who is a nurse at International Maritime Hospital. Samuel, have a lovely yeah. day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Okay, viewers, and so stay tuned for so much more. We'll be right back.